Ken Surfs here with another shave video. Uh, this time uh, I'm very jazzed because something came in the mail today and it must have been about two months ago that uh, Briarwood 138, maybe a little more than two months ago, uh, you might know him as Joe from Queens. Uh, he has a YouTube channel and uh, I'll put his uh, name right here. Uh, check it out if you haven't seen it. But uh, he did a shave and somebody had loaned him or he bought it, I, I can't quite remember, but a Schick repeating razor. And these came out in the, uh, God, the 20s, late 20s. And what it is, man, this one, I saw his video and I thought, man, I gotta have this. I gotta have one of these uh, Schick repeating razors. It uh, has, it, it just operates cool and I'll show you how in a second. But this kit, I've been looking, looking, looking. I've ended up picking up this one for, uh, what was it, about 70 bucks off eBay. And, and they go, uh, you know, from, 50 bucks all the way up to 300 bucks. But this kit was in good condition. Still had the original instructions there. So uh, I think the instructions are supposed to go into the blade dispenser. But this is uh, a little dispenser that you uh, keep your old blades in. And uh, man, it's still in really good shape. And the razor itself is one heavy monster. Let me show you how this works. It's like uh, loading a semi-automatic gun. So what you do is, uh, it's an injector razor. You turn the uh, razor so it looks like this. You can kind of see the blade sticking out there. You cock it like you're loading a gun, press it, and a new blade loads in. As simple as that. Then twist it back, it's an open comb, and it's ready to go. So I'm looking forward to trying this out today and uh, hopefully it goes well. I don't trust these blades that came with it. I don't know how long they've been around. So I'm gonna actually take one of my modern Schick injector blades and uh, put it in here. But uh, let me get this set up and uh, we'll get started. Got my blade loaded in there. And actually Schick was smart. The, uh, you know, the injector cartridges that fit all the Schick injectors, those blades actually fit in here perfect. So uh, it's a brand new blade. So, uh, but I'm almost guaranteeing you I'm gonna cut myself because I cut myself with those Schick injector razors. I'm almost guaranteed gonna cut myself with this one, but uh, don't let that deter you because it's an awesome razor. And who knows, maybe I won't. So uh, I'm gonna use the last of my ProRosso pre-shave today. And I'm gonna use some uh, Regiment uh, shaving uh, cream. This is the high speed. And actually this comes out of, blah, 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 blah. it's Riverside. And I believe the gentleman, uh, my friend Abraham, is going to approach him and see about if we have a meetup in uh, January, if he might want to put together some kind of soap. So that's kind of cool. So I've got that going, and I'm going to be using my uh, Samoog Owner's Club brush again. It's been soaking for a while, so let me get this lathered up. I'm actually waiting for that Blackhawk to arrive. Uh, he wasn't going to ship it uh, Joe from Italian Barber wasn't going to ship it till tomorrow, I think, anyway. They go out, they sell out really quick. And that I know. But what uh, I am going to do a shave with soon, somebody had asked about the Ever Ready single edge. So I've had that, and I will do that eh, coming up. Some Oog's lathering really good. Let me wet my face. You can see the shadow of the goat coming in. Movember, Movember. Yeah, it's definitely the last of the pre-shave. I'm gonna need all the help I can get on this. Because those Schick injector blades, those single edge, do not do my neck any good. They're okay on my face, but not on the neck. All right. Let me finish lathering this up. Now that I can see the goatee, I don't have to lather the goatee. Shave around it. Yeah, when it comes to shaving and shaving brushes and cool razors, I'm like a kid in the candy store. I see something, I end up wanting it. 
and uh, you just gotta wait and you can find things uh, for a good price just don't jump at the first one all right well the blade aligned pretty good so it might be me if I goof let's see She is a bit on the aggressive side. <laughs> it took it right down. And the soap's fantastic. I can feel it. It's very slick. And that took that right down. Here's the real test. I don't want to say I spoke too soon, but it's actually feeling pretty damn good. Better than that. Better, where is it? I don't even have it. Better than the shit. I, I do have it. That one, that shit injector, man, that one did a number on me. I got lucky. Should I tempt pass two? Why not? I'll try to find out more of the history on that, uh, on this, and I'll put it in the comment or the uh, description section, because I know they were made late 20s, early 30s. iPhone just came out with the operating system 10 point something to fix an error in the camera on iPhone 7 Plus. Can you believe it? So, the backward camera, the, uh, the normal camera works good. It's the selfie. This bad boy is heavy. I'll weigh it and I'll put the uh, I'll put the weight up. I'm going very slow and easy. And by a miracle, no blood. Work great. All right, let me rinse this off. Got one more picture waiting to come, that one from Germany. But I've got the uh, Man with the Golden Gun, Timothy Dalton, Ava Green autographed. I'll get a closer look uh, after I unhook all of this and finish the shave. Nice. And I do read your comments. Someone said, hey man, can you use that again? So yes, I will use a fine American blend again. And it's not burning so bad. 
does have a bit of a burn, so obviously I didn't cut me, which I am very, very, very surprised. But what can I say? The Schick Repeating Razor. The, uh, it's an injector and it's the Repeating Razor. If you see one or come across one at a good price, it's a really cool thing to have. And uh, man, I've been waiting months and months until this one finally came up. I bid on a lot of them and I lost a lot of bids. But uh, this one I picked, or this one I won about three or four days ago. All right, well, I'm gonna take the camera off and I'll just show you a quick look at what I've got on that door. And uh, until next time, it's Ken Serves. You're saying you guys have a great night. I'm gonna take the camera off right now. You're gonna get a little bit of the glare from that natural daylight, but there is Ava Green autographed. And let's see, a Christmas present from James Bond. This is the poster I saw back in late 73, early 74, before they released this movie. Maybe it was in 74 itself. It was. It was mid-74. This was what they call the teaser. And then, of course, I've got Sean Connery from Goldfinger. Or Goldfinger. Diamonds are forever. Come on, Ken, wake up. And then Timothy Dalton. Just got used to Timothy Dalton. And uh, then he was no longer James Bond. So I'm really hoping that I'm hoping that Daniel Craig comes back one more. And that's where Daniel Craig's autograph's gonna go as soon as I get it in. All right, well, you guys have a great night, and we'll see you next time.